Hi, welcome. This is a quick video about vaginal atrophy and why it just may be the cause of your pain, frequent UTI sensations, and actual infections. If you find yourself at the doctor constantly being tested and treated for bladder infections, or you constantly feel as if you have a UTI, but you're being told time and time again that you don't, this video is for you. I went through a period years ago before I learned all about menopause where I was constantly at the doctor being checked for a UTI and taking antibiotics needlessly, I might add, because despite being told over and over again that I showed no signs of infection, I was incredibly uncomfortable, had no other diagnosis from the doctor and absolutely no explanation for my pain. Not once did any doctor ever mention perimenopause or atrophy as a possible explanation for my discomfort. I discovered all of this on my own in a desperate attempt to help myself. So I think it's very important to share the following information with all of you ladies who are currently suffering with this chronic UTI misery. Vaginal atrophy causes thinning, drying, and inflammation of the vaginal walls, causing all sorts of problems and discomforts but it's not isolated to that area alone. The thinning and drying of the tissue also affects the urethra, weakening it, making it much more likely for bacteria to find their way into the bladder and making it much more likely that you will suffer symptoms of a UTI when you don't actually have one. Atrophy can cause dryness, itching, general burning, burning with urination, discharge, more frequent infections, frequent urination, discomfort during intercourse, incontinence, delicate tissue that is easily injured, a feeling of pressure and discomfort in the area when being active. If you're perimenopausal or postmenopausal, have any of the symptoms that I just mentioned and are plagued with UTIs or feelings of a UTI with no infection, vaginal estrogen just may provide you some relief. Tiny amounts of vaginal estrogen can make a big difference and it doesn't carry the same risks as oral HRT or patches. I personally cannot use HRT, but I can use tiny amounts of vaginal estrogen if I need to. It should help restore the tissue and could make your UTI issues a thing of the past. If you can't or choose not to use hormones, you can try vaginal moisturizers. They will help restore moisture and give you some relief but they won't improve the atrophy like estrogen will. Water-based lubricants are also an option, but they're very short-lived and they also won't improve the atrophy like estrogen will. Having your analysis strips on hand is also a very good idea. I always have some in the house. They help save numerous needless trips to the doctor and they help relieve anxiety surrounding whether or not pain is UTI related. It's a crying shame that doctors don't consider menopause and atrophy as a possible cause for UTIs when middle-aged women are in and out of the office with chronic complaints. But it is an unfortunate reality. So it's very important to take matters into your own hands, arm yourself with knowledge, and take the necessary steps to try and treat atrophy and see if that improves your symptoms and discomforts and gets you off that chronic UTI hamster wheel. UTIs and vaginal atrophy are two of the more torturous symptoms that can plague us in all stages of menopause. Being able to alleviate just those two can make a big difference in the way that you feel and function every day. I pray treating atrophy is the answer to curing your UTIs and discomforts. And I hope this quick video was helpful. I have a menopause support group if you'd like to connect to other menopausal women. It has been beyond helpful for me and I think it may help you as well. The link to my support group is in the description under this video. I wish you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.